I'm here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas with Alok Gupta, and blockchain is something that, that mostly I hear about from the Bitcoin perspective because it gets all the hype in the news and everything. Absolutely. But from what I understand, uh, there are actually some practical use cases outside of that. That's that that's right. So in you know, so a lot of times when we talk about uh, uh, blockchain, the first thing that always comes up is Bitcoin, and people are more interested in Bitcoin. But when it comes to the enterprises, the right way to look at it is there are a lot of practical use cases out of it, and especially in the area of supply chain, uh, in the area of if you want to prove authenticity or any kind of an auditability of a particular transaction that has happened, it, there are lots of practical use cases around it, and we have been working among a few in, for a few of them. Okay, could you give me an example of one? Sure. So one of them is, for example, there is a product that is being manufactured, and the negotiation happens between two companies. Now, at the back end is um, a salesperson uh, who has actually uh, sold the pro product to a customer wants to know exactly where the product is in the in the, in the manufacturing process. Uh, ha have the parts been received? Uh, has the product been manufactured, and where it is in the shipping cycle? <coughs> So what you can do with blockchain, and this is one of the practical use cases that we are working on, uh, you can act, you can, uh, you can interact with the existing EDI systems, and have a workflow that is defined and provide visibility to a um, uh, uh, to the salesperson on exactly where it is and how soon he will receive it. So this is something that you can do with other mechanism as well. But blockchain provides the entire infrastructure where it actually makes it a lot more visible to do it and plus makes, makes it expandable. Okay, and so. From a from an HPE perspective, uh, what is what is HPE's involvement in blockchain? So the way, so a lot of customers they trust us. Uh, we have a strong presence in almost all sectors, and especially in the manufacturing sector and the finance sector, uh, and to a certain level in the uh, in the healthcare sector. And so customers trust us. The way, the way they look at HP is that we do not we are not bought into a particular uh, implementation. So they are okay with doing it. Uh, so they want they talk to us because they do not know what direction they should go to, which technology they have to use, what kind of an infrastructure. Because a lot of companies that they go to them, they sell them, oh, it's ready to be productized, we will productize it for you, and here is the infrastructure you need to buy, you can use it on a commodity infrastructure. But when the deeper questions happen, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a problematic. And the other thing that happens is, uh, some of the other proof of values that we have seen, that a few customers have done, so they have had a proof of value, and then they go to the IT, IT says, oops, all this information that you're asking for, some of it is confidential, how in the world can I implement it in a cloud? So we do talk to the customer depending upon the type of implementation, whether they want to go into hybrid cloud or they want to have it in-house or they want to have it totally cloud. And we do have a very unbiased perspective on it. So this is very much a, a service-driven model. That's it's not, right. you're, you're not trying to sell them ProLiant servers. We are, we are not. So this particular initiative as of now, it's being driven out, out of center of excellence, so which is COE. And we, are, we talk to the customers, we select the customers. And once we see that there is a something potential use case, we actually go out and implement it for the at least a proof of value. And we are not selling them anything. We are just having a conversation and making sure that it works for the customers. And the other thing that we do very well is especially, you know, so unlike other technologies, that technology came out first and then it was looking for a business side of things, in, especially in the blockchain, there is what blockchain essentially solves is a business process. The way where we start is we look at the business process and then we actually tell the customer whether your business process will work for blockchain or not. So it's a very unbiased view on how, where the customer wants to go. So where do you see blockchain going next? So I think, uh, so blockchain as a technology is here to stay. Uh, whether the existing, uh, in what form it will take, that's a bit unknown. Uh, and at least I think what will happen is blockchain will merge with uh, business processes and we will, have, we will continue to see, see solutions. And the next thing that will happen is, so far the focus has been more on the, what we call as uh, blockchain 1.0, which is public uh, uh, blockchain in the area of say cryptocurrencies. Uh, more and more enterprises who have been experimenting with it, have been playing around with it, will over the next year or two will begin to productize it. And we will see real deployments going out into the future. And I think that's where it benefits HP because we have a wide range of infrastructure and um, it just fits depending upon the requirement. All right, thanks a lot. All right, thank you so much.